Hello guys, I'm Pickles Parker and today I will be reviewing this little item, one of the e and Emma Doxu 5 inch um, figure collector sets. Um, enjoy! <laughs> So here is the box, and it is actually quite a nice design. Um, we have the uh, nice, uh, usual collector's uh, series um, design here, where obviously we have the stars and it fades in. We've got more orangey, and we have the diamond you can just make out there, which is very nice. It's nice how they've still incorporated that, um, which I do like. And uh, obviously, we have a very nice big window there displaying uh, our three figures in this uh, set, which is a uh, Canine Mark One, the Fourth Doctor with his sonic screwdriver, and Leela with her. We have the uh, classic Doctor logo here, um, which is used on most of these products now. Um, and it was used uh, during John Pertwee's tenure as the Doctor and in the TV movie. We have the fourth Doctor collector figure set written here and uh, includes the fourth Doctor Liga and K9 Mark 1 bubble here. And a character options logo there. We have a 5 plus sticker there. And a 5.5 inch slash 14 centimeter scale collector series bubble. Turning the box up, you can see the window continues to the top. We have the uh, classic Doc 2 logo here again, with a www.character-online.co.uk bubble there, and a fourth Doctor collector figure set bubble again. On the side, we have the Adoptu logo there again, with a picture of the Fourth Doctor and Leela, and includes the Fourth Doctor, Leela, and K9 Mark I bubble, and a Fourth Doctor collector figure set bubble. Very similar on the other side, uh, at the top, we have the Adoptu logo again, with the 5.5 inch slash 14 centimeter scale collector series bubble again, with uh, some prototype images of not the Fourth Doctor and Leela this time, but the 4th Doctor and K9, and the 4th Doctor collector figure set bubble again with uh, some BBC company information. And on the bottom, nothing but company information. So on the back of the box, as you can see here, um, it's not got that much, uh, it's not got any character bios or anything, although it does have the very nice uh, Doctor Who uh, Logo there, 5.5 inch slash 1 centimeter scale collector is bubble there. A prototype image of each of the figures are Kino Mark 1, the 4th Doctor, and Mila Bubbles, and the 4th Doctor collector figure set bubble. Um, now we have the tray out of the box. Um, removing the tray, you can see the very nice uh, design in the backing of the box with the uh, the blue. We have the diamond design continues with the cogs and some Gallifreyan text. That is all very nice. And obviously we have the tray out of the box here, and we have our canine, the Doctor, and Leela all out of their box, all looking very nice. So now we have all the figures out of the tray: canine, the Doctor, and Leela, and they all look fantastic, don't they? They look brilliant for a uh, what is supposed to be a low budget uh, set. Um, and I really do love, I don't have a K9, I don't have a 4th Doctor, and I don't have a Leela, as uh, my collection is relatively small compared to other people's, um, but uh, yeah, I'm really chuffed that I've uh, got this set, and all of these figures are brilliant, but today we are taking a look at the 4th Doctor, and in future videos I will do a separate video for Leela and 
K9, but um, in this video we are just taking a look at the fourth Doctor in this set. So let's dive in straight to the head sculpt, and you can see it does very much uh, look like Tom Baker. Um, obviously we've got his manic grin and his bug eyes there, but we do have quite a few wrinkles around the eyes and around the mouth. Um, saying that he's maybe a bit older, however I do believe this figure is from Pyramids of Mars. So, uh, yeah. That's nice. So, uh, yeah. Now turning around you can obviously see the very nice, uh, curls. Uh, his hair is mostly covered up by the lovely brown fedora. There, but yes, it is uh, all very nicely sculpted. I've just realized I don't have a, uh, paint bleed or quality control issues, so that's nice. As this figure is from Pyramids of Mars, where you have the Doctor's costume, he's wearing his uh, red velvet frock coat. Um, it may look a bit brown on camera, but no, it is his red velvet one. We have the scarf here, um, multi-coloured scarf, but as this is a low budget set, it's not painted on one side, um, which is a bit annoying, but uh, it's not really. Uh, you don't really need it to be painted on the other side. Um, and uh, peeling the coat back, we have uh, his very nice check waistcoat, his red cravat, and his uh, shirt peeping through. Uh, so we have the uh, legs here. Not much to talk about, just plain grey cover. Um, just going over his shoes there. And his shoes are a uh, brown colour, they're quite nice with their laces and bros. Sorry. Uh, now just going on to the back of the coat, we have the very nice stitching lines, the two buttons and the pockets there, and just plain onto the back of the trousers. And just take a look at its screwdriver, it's just a plain silver colour with black and red, but it's nice nonetheless and it's not really that much of a sloppy paint job, so yeah, thumbs up. Now onto articulation, the head doesn't really move that much at all. The arm can move back and forth uh, and bend at the uh, elbow. His uh, waist can turn back to side to side. His uh, knee can kind of bend here. And, uh, Leg, turn, turn, 360 as well. So overall, what do I think of this figure? Now, I do really like this figure. Um, obviously, I don't have a Tom Baker in my collection, but it is really nice. Um, the one, just uh, one side of the scarf and paint, it doesn't really bother me, but uh, yeah, great paint apps, great detail. Uh, no, uh, hiccups or quality control issues that I can notice. Um, so yeah, I uh, really uh, do quite love this figure. Um, obviously, I do think that they could have made it slightly a brighter colour because the um, coat does look quite brown, uh, where it's supposed to look more red. I know it's quite a dark red in the story. But overall, yeah, I really love this figure, and uh, next time uh, when we take a look at uh, some figure reviews, I will be uh, look, taking a look at Leela, um, the fourth Doctor's uh, second companion. So yeah. Please like this video um, if you have enjoyed it, and if you want to see more content from my channel, then please hit subscribe. Goodbye. Hello, Baron Adam. So, uh, yeah, the parting of the uh, ways, the uh, conclusion to last week's episode, is directed brilliantly by Joe Ahern. Um, and I love my music on it as well. But the thing is, this isn't a negative. I never quite see it as a regeneration story, though, in my head. Because obviously it's not building up the regeneration. But it's quite nice because you have these modern big building up for building things. It's quite nice to have, like, a subtle regeneration. Um, it is my second favourite season finale behind uh, Pandora Copeland's Big Bang. How good is Christopher Eckerson though? He is right on top form. 
I love the design of the Dalek Emperor, but it doesn't look that great on screen. It does just sort of just look like a, a model has been enlarged and put on screen. Rose feels a bit series two when she's with Linda, if I'm honest. Um, which is annoying because I quite like Rose in series one. Sending the companion away, like when he sends Rose uh, back home was done much better in this episode than it was with Clara in Time of the Doctor, despite how much I love Time of the Doctor. Um, the Daleks are pure evil when they go down into floor zero and kill everybody when they don't need to, and they're also pretty good in the whole of the episode as well. Um, I heard your sound that you used for the merch corner in here, actually. The regeneration is handed br handled brilliantly as well. So if I was going to give this episode a score, it has to be a 10 out of 10, and my score for the finale is a 9 out of 10. Um, just before I go, I just want to say that you are absolute, you're fantastic, absolutely fantastic, and you know what? So was I.